Hello Retro Games and Collectors and welcome to a Pickups video. I've just got a few bits and pieces in this and it's all quality, none of it's filler. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is your first original whited um, one pound. Oh yeah, just before I show it, just to let you know I did say I was going to at least mark Game Market 3 in Doncaster. I won't be going now just to let you know so I'm not going to be at that event. So I just thought I'll tell you that. So uh, first up, what I'm going to show you, it's an Xbox wireless controller, she did want £1.50, it doesn't have the receiver, but that doesn't matter because I have the receiver, and so I knocked her down to a pound and it works, and it's a Mad Cat wireless controller and it's in better nick, and also it has rubber ones, and I've also got these which I've been putting on. And this is the one I've been using, like especially the YouTube challenge videos. This, as you can tell, they're pretty worn out. I need to take them out and swap them out. Yeah, so these are pretty much worn out. Gone. Well, that one is anyway. This one's alright. I do have a faulty wired control I could do with taking them out and putting them in here. But, yeah. So now this is my uh, new one. So for one pound. So I was dead chuffed with that, and plus I already had these little things anyway. So happy days, let's see if I can put it on. Yeah, so uh, my first um, YouTube challenge video I used this controller was PAL. So yeah, so now these don't fall off because these are the habit of falling off on that thing. So um, on to my next one. Now this one I bought it purely for case. I only paid 25 pence. I am going to see what the game's like, and it's Aero 51 on the original Xbox. No manual, but I don't care. The disc is flawless as well. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's one on the Xbox 360 which is similar. I think it's called Black Sight 51 or something like that. So, that is that, and I only paid 25 pence. So I thought, yeah, because I need, I need some original Xbox cases anyway, so. I was happy to play 25p. Now my next game up, which is actually a PS1 game and it's a cracking one. I've swapped the case out because the other one will crack. And this goes for a little bit of money as well on eBay. And I paid a whopping 74 pence at the Heart Foundation. And I've played the game today. It's very hard. You have to use the D-pad to move the ninja about. And it, But it's a really good game. And I think I've got halfway through first level, but it's but I'm on like this water thing, and you have to be precise as well. And I'm not used to deep, and I'm used to you know these proper like I know that I'm used to these, not the deeper. But the game in question is Ninja Shadow of Darkness, and there's no manual. But the disc has some scratches on it, but plays perfectly anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, must be an early one. If that's any good, yeah, this is a really good like ninja game. Hard, a bit tough, especially with D-pad, especially when you're used to using the analog sticks. But yeah, and this was 74 pence at British Art Foundation. And there's the screenshots. I show them already. <laughs> and my next one, up, which I have completed ages ago when it first came out. And I got it from Cat's Protection. It's Bullet Storm for 99 pence. And it's complete. Yeah, and I know the idea of this game is you can you can get a grab hold of enemies, you can blow the arms off, the heads off, and all sorts. And it's from the same people who did Gears of War, if I remember right. And there is the it and the manual. So I was happy to get that. <coughs> and the final game which I've got. Now this is a special edition. Now I remember you, some of you remember that I had Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I completed. I decided since it's worth quite a bit, I'm going to trade it in. So I traded it in at Granger Games, and I sat and I'm, this one, which I've traded in for this limited edition, I will be keeping even when I finish this. And the game in question is Life is Strange, and it's the limited edition. And this has like CD, this has a CD, and it also has an art book in it. As you can tell there, and you play it as like a like this like an eighteen year old. Oh, I cost as a teenager anyway. 
a teenager, young lady, 18 year old, college or university, and I've played the first episode, and it's really good, it's got a really good music to it, I like the music. And you can more you can move about quite a bit, unlike other games like your Walking Dead, like type of thing where you have to make choices. This one you make choices, but you can, you have a freedom to move about as well. It's not an open world or anything like that. It's nothing like that. But yeah, and I've still got the CD in here, which is I'll just quickly get it up. That's the game. That's the CD, which is, as you can, I don't know if you can tell my camera, it's still sealed. I'm not going to open it, I'm keeping it sealed. Now you can just see a bit there. So that's the soundtrack. And this is the um, art book. I'll just show a couple of pictures. So you've got like art here. Also, you've got like designs and all that stuff. So I basically got, got um, what did I get? About twenty. I got about twenty odd pound trading. I got them to price match CX, and I only had to pay like a pound towards this. So, to um, Life is Strange, the limited edition box set, and that is all I've got to show you in this. Um, when my next pickup video will probably be in a month, in about a month's time around about a month's time so I'm not picking much I'm still playing more than what I'm picking up so um, that's it for now and also this year I'm planning on going to um, some bodybuilding events or or, or even as well as um, like powerlifting and that so um, there might be some footage coming up sometime in the year because I am planning on bringing this camera with me and recording some footage so that's all I've got to say don't forget you never to old game. Keep on pumping those sexy muscles. Hell yeah.